What is up, guys? Welcome for Season 3, Week 3 of the NBA. We are taking on the Colorado Mammoth Swine, coached by Eric. Uh, what I love about this league, guys, is that I was actually just talking to Eric right before this battle, and we were discussing sets for another league, the league that I'm replacing Rob in temporarily, the NPL, and to see uh, what kind of sets that I can bring for my opponent, because he has a very hard team for me to, to counter team this week. And... We were just talking and we were uh, we were discussing and we were going over Greninja, which he actually has on his team, and we weren't afraid to talk about it because it can potentially come about uh, against me. So it's a really fun league, and I love everybody there, man. Everybody's uh, just great, guys. I, I'm gonna have them more on the channel. I have to. The Dom, Adrian, Colton, Jar, Rob, Eric, everybody, man. Just everybody in the league. So uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna message. Uh, Eric right now we're gonna have him uh, challenge us or we're gonna challenge him doesn't really matter which way and uh, We're gonna get into this game right now. I'm just gonna pause it guys We'll be right back and we'll see what kind of team that Eric brought for us. So be right back All right guys here we go. We are about to accept heavy metal Pokemon's challenge. Uh, let me just find my team I don't know where it went. Um, there it is. Okay. Got it. Uh, <laughs> he did forget the password. Oh my god, that's amazing. As you can see, he was part of a, a PWM, actually, just by his account name right here. But uh, we're about to see what he's going to bring for us. Uh, guys, I urge you to check him out in the description down below. Eric's a great guy. He has some great leak content on his channel and great graphics as well. Way better than what I have. Uh, I'm not quite there yet, but hope to be on his level someday. But let's accept this challenge and uh, let's get this show on the road. So he brings a very similar team to what Mens brought. Uh, except he brings the Arcanine over the Skarmory, and he brings the Marowak, surprisingly, surprisingly enough. Uh, I'm just going to wish him uh, good luck and have fun, and uh, ignore spectators just in case. We always do that, and um, I'm really liking Slowbro's matchup this game. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to just lead Scizor against him because he does have the Frostlass. I just want to break that thing Sash, and then maybe go into Thunderous and knock it out with a Thunderbolt is the play. Uh, he did not bring the Mega Venusaur, so Psychic is not as important. Uh, on Thunderous, obviously. Um, yeah, I think Scizor is probably the best lead right here. I like it. Uh, as he leads with Frostlass, exactly. There we go. <laughs> Yuki Ona. Nice, nice nickname. All right. Uh, I want to run a calc really quickly. Uh, let me actually do this. Uh, where's we're still? <laughs> I just had my uh, my UPA match. If you, guys, if you guys haven't checked that out yet, definitely do. It's a really really close battle. Awesome game. Uh, but I'm going to bring in my sets to the showdown calculator real quick. And uh, let's go check out Scizor, Mega Scizor, Edward versus a Frostlass. Uh, if it has Hidden Power Fire with no investment, let's say. Hidden, whoop, where, where's Hidden? Okay, there we go. Uh, hidden Power Fire. Um, HP Fire does not knock us out, even if he's 252. It does 73%, so I think I'm just going to... Um, to Mega Evolve and U-Turn right here, I think is perfectly safe. Judd's choose to go into the Arcanine. I'm assuming I'm going to take Rocky Helmet damage right here, as I do not. Okay, interesting. Um, the Hydreigon definitely puts pressure on this thing. The only thing is that he has the Sylveon, and I know that without Rocks Up, I'm going to have a hard time knocking that thing out. Uh, let's see, what can we switch into here? He just brought in his Intimidator, so actually... Uh, let me calc how much that U-turn did to his Arcanine, see if it is really defensive. Defensive, leftovers, U-turn would normally do 10 to 12, so it actually isn't. Uh, it's not defensive, because we did more than that. So, knowing that, it could be a Scarf variant. I'm curious to test that out. He would be faster than... Our Tyrantrum. We ended up keeping this thing adamant, guys, because I have other ways of dealing with the Greninja, so uh, we ended up keeping it that way. Um, I think I'm just going to go into Tyrantrum right here. I think it's my best play, as uh, he could very well be scarfed with close combat. That's the one thing I'm very, very terrified of right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull a switch into my Slowbro. I'm going to double just to be able to catch the uh, incoming Marowak, if that's the play he wants to make, or the close combat. Uh, he actually chooses to double into Marowak, that's awesome. We do have Ice Beam online for this thing, um, which I'm probably just going to go for. Uh, we do have Defog on Scizor as well, so we're not too threatened by this. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam as he gets up his rocks, and we are going to be able to knock this thing down to 47%. He does not have leftovers either. Uh, we are not a physically defensive variant, though, so I'm kind of scared about staying in on an Earthquake from a Bone Club. Um, 
Marowak. How much do we take from that? Marowak. Uh, PU Offensive. Let's see. Thick Club. It's not Bone Club. It's Thick Club. Uh, versus our Slowbro set. Because we are max special defense. Uh, Slowbro. Berlin. Um, you do not take a knockoff well. Nor do you take a Boomerang. Alright. So I have to make a decision right here. I think my decision is to go into Scizor. And potentially just defog these rocks away. Because the next time this scenario happens, we should be good to go. Um, Scizor is going to take this well, right? I assume. Scizor. Um, where's Edward? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> How much does our bullet punch do to him? 41 to 49? That's not reassuring. But this thing is, like, pitifully slow, right? Uh, he chooses to double into Sylveon, which is good, because we go into Scizor right here. And I really do not want to stay in on this thing. Uh, I should outspeed it unless he's max speed. Uh, in which case, he wouldn't be modest. He'd be timid. Um, I'm just going to U-turn right here on his incoming Arcanine. There we go. Gonna gain some momentum. We get a crit right there. Ooh, that sucks for him. Oh, man, I feel bad. Um... But, the fact that he didn't stay in on our Tyrantrum before means that I'm expecting this thing not to be Scarfed. So, I got a, a couple of plays right here. I can either Head Smash and blow something away, or I can get up my Rocks, which are really, really good this game. Because of the Frostlast, the Salamence, and the Arcanine. And I think that's going to be my play. I'm just going to go for Rocks. As he goes for a Morning Sun. Okay, cool, cool. So, we have to switch out right here. And, um, that kind of tells me that he's defensive, but like, without defensive investment. If that makes any sense. So I think my play is actually to go into our Hydreigon right here. Now that we have our rocks up, we do Oko the Sylveon with an Iron Tail. Uh, as he chooses to go into Marowak though, so that's great for us. Uh, even a Scarf variant I don't think outspeeds us. Well, it could. It could. It definitely could. Uh, but I think Dark Pulse is overall my play. Uh, it hits everything on my opponent's team, and it is able to knock out the Marowak, which is great. He does see that we are Life Orb right there. So that's going to be a pretty much free switch for him into Greninja. And he's going to be able to U-turn out on us. So, expecting that, uh, or the Ice Beam, I can pretty much freely go into Slowbro here. I don't expect him to Dark Pulse or anything like that. Uh, alternatively, I can also stay in. What do I need this for? It's good for the Arcanine. Uh, it's also very good for the Sylveon, as I don't have another very good way of dealing with it outside of Bullet Punch. Um, the crit on Arcanine is really going to end up mattering. Um, no, it's not, because he Morning Sunned. So it really actually doesn't matter. Um... Curious. We just discussed an E-Belt set, which uh, he knows is better than Life Orb, uh, because Protein Greninja is not a thing. Uh, if you guys don't know, he's not Protein Greninja, and if you watch the Team Builder, he's also not Speed Boost uh, Blaziken. That's the only way we can run them. Uh, so let's see what my opponent chooses to go for. Goes for the Ice Beam, we're able to take that no problem, and I'm not going to play around with this thing. I'm just going to fire off a Focus Blast right here. His Dark Pulse is not going to be able to knock us out. That is a crit. I did calc for that. And Focus Blast is not able to knock out his Greninja. Wow. All right. Uh, I am going to keep Slowbro, though, because it does pretty well against the Arcanine. Uh, granting we don't have any... Uh, he doesn't have Hazard Removal, though, does he? Salamence, that's it. Um, let's see. What's the play here? He did crit us on the Dark Pulse. Uh, normally, that would have done less than half. It's going to end up mattering, but I can always regenerate her, this thing back up. I'm going to go into Scizor right here because it does have the priority bullet punch. Hopefully he doesn't HP fire predicting that. He goes for the Dark Pulse, so good play. Uh, I can't do anything about that, but uh, his only form of hazard removal is the Salamence, so I'm pretty free to bullet punch right here and knock this thing out. And now Arcanine comes in for pretty much free. But we did see Morning Sun on that thing, which is a very, very good sign. That means that it potentially doesn't have any speed investment, which means we might be able to outspeed it. UU defensive. Uh, 226. Okay, so no, it still outspeeds us. Alright, so, risking my uh, Slowbro getting burned right here, I think I'm just going to switch directly into it. I should be able to take any hit from this thing uh, outside of a wild charge. He goes for a Flare Blitz. We are able to live. Takes a little bit of recoil. And Life Orb! There's the item. Alright, we finally see it. And uh, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm not going to allow him to recover up. I'm going to just go for the Psychic as he goes for an Extreme Speed, which is perfectly fine. Uh, guys, I still have my um, my Yuxi in the back to be able to take an Outrage. So don't think I'm going to lose to a uh, an Outrage Sweep from Salamence. I can actually still take it. So uh, let's see here. What do I want to do? I want to probably just go into Tyrantrum, honestly. 
and fire off a head smash. And hopefully we can land this, because it would really suck if we don't. Um, Scissor can still roost up on the Frostlass, on the Sylveon if it doesn't have HP fire, which I would be surprised if it doesn't. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I, I technically could still lose to a, uh, to a, a Choice Scarf Salamence, definitely. I have to play around it a little bit, uh, but our Scissor's Bullet Punch actually still does a lot, right? Salamence... Uh, Salamence, Choice Scarf versus uh, Scizor, 43%, so that's actually really good. Uh, after a Psychic from an unboosted Yuxi. Yuxi, where are you, CTC? Uh, Psychic does 28 to 32, so after Rocks, yeah, we knock him out. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that's our way of preventing the sweep, is to sack something, go into Yuxi, go for the Psychic, follow it up by going into Scizor and bullet punching, because this Arcanine is pretty much dead now. He cannot switch anything into a head smash, which is why I kind of regret clicking it. Uh, he's going to go into Sylveon. I'm assuming it's physically defensive, but it's not going to be able to take this at all. And we are able to knock it out right there. Now, again, I cannot uh, sack off this Tyrantrum because it does beat the remainder of my opponent's team. So, expecting the Outrage. Uh, what does uh, Hydreigon do? It doesn't do much anymore, does it? Uh... Okay, I just need to calc something. Salamence, if he's Choice Scarfed, and Adamant at plus one, for example. Uh, Outrage does not take us out barring a crit. So I am just going to... But can I risk this thing being a Dragon Dance variant? Do I have things to, to handle the rest of his team? I do. I actually do. I have the Scizor, and I have the Thunderous. So if this thing is a Dragon Dance variant, I don't want to risk it. And I'm just going to click Head Smash again. Honestly, I think that's my best play. I can't I can't risk this thing setting up against me. If he goes for an Outrage, he knocks out Tyrantrum. That's that. Tyrantrum already got a kill, which is pretty cool. Uh, so did Hydreigon, I believe, on the Marowak. And uh, Scizor on the Greninja. So, would have thought <laughs> Scizor would be the one taking out Greninja. But uh, that happens. He is Choice Scarfed. Because he outsped our Scarf. But he's Dragon Claw. So he's not locked into it. That's smart. Ah. That's not good for us. That means he can switch. That's kind of bad. Um, Yuxi actually speed ties with his Arcanine at zero speed. The problem is the Frostlass. But hold on. He has to come back in on rocks, right? How, do, how much did we calculate that our Scizor did to this thing? Scizor. Um, Edward is doing 43 to 51, so I still have a roll in my favor. That's always a potential. Um, Frostlass comes in on rocks, it doesn't like them. Dragon Claw, I think, is going to take out, um, Thunderous, no problem. Thunderous, Thundolos, Dragon Claw at plus one does definitely take it out. So I have to go into Yuxi right here, guys. And I have to attempt to weaken this thing with a Psychic, basically. That's my only play. And I have to bring him down below, um, 45-ish. If I do that, then Scizor can just sweep up the game. But I absolutely need to do that, <laughs> otherwise I lose. So, it's a, it's a very precarious situation. He might just sack something here, but again, he puts his, uh, his Salamence in range uh, of Bullet Punch by doing that. Uh, Frostlass is actually going to end up taking a lot of damage from that. However, I have a sack in Hydreigon. I need to keep CTC alive because I can't have Salamence sweeping me, once again. I can't do it. If he's adamant, plus one. Again, let's run the calc. Yuxi, CTC, does not go down to a plus one Dragon Claw ever in life. Ever. <laughs> not even a crit, I don't think, can take us out. No, it would do 75. So, if he's adamant, he doesn't take us out. Uh, I have to go into... I have to sack Hydreigon right here to the Shadow Ball, plus Ice Beam combination. I could technically keep it, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to fire off a Dark Pulse right here. He goes for the Icy Wind that is able to knock us out. And now I need to go into Thunderous and fire off a Thunderbolt. It's going to be able to knock something out on my opponent's team. And if he chooses to switch into Salamence, that's a very bad play. He has to go into Salamence now. The thing is, I don't think he takes us out if he's not plus one. If he's at neutral and he's adamant against our Thunderous... That's if he's adamant, by the way, guys. Um, Got to keep in mind that the Arcanine can Morning Sun and E-speed me. But that's okay. Um, he's not going to take out Yuxi. 
Thundolos, Dragon Claw does not take you out, my friend. How about you knock out this, uh, this Salamence? Okay, so he is Outrage. All right. Which, um, again, unless he's adamant uh, against Yuxi. I think Yuxi still takes it, uh, even after rocks. Uh, plus one. Yep, Yuxi still takes it. So I just need... Oh, wait, hold on a second. The Arcanine's at 41. Oh, darn. Oh, darn, 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 darn. And Scizor can't take this, right? Scizor. That's not good. Um, Scizor cannot take a plus one outrage. Uh, that's if he's adamant. 47. I still can't take it. So I can't risk roosting up on him. I have to go for the bullet punch. And then I have to hope he confuses himself and switches into Arcanine. Like, that's my only play, realistically. Um, and a Flare Blitz is going to do a lot from his Arcanine. Yeah, I have to risk this. I have to go into Scizor and risk the roll. And just fire off a bullet punch right here. As we are not able to take out the Salamence, he's going to get to plus two. And if he does not get confused right here, we lose. And he doesn't. So that's good game. So very good game to Eric. Uh, we were... Um, I, I predicted him to be Scarfed. I should have just gone with my gut with... Uh, with the, um, the Salamence, uh, with the uh, Tyrantrum, excuse me, and just switched out, but, uh, the oh, wow, we lived. <laughs> okay, uh, if his Arcanine's actually not packing E-Speed and no speed on it, which I would be surprised for a Life Orb variant, um, he potentially loses, so <laughs> we speed tie with it if it's no speed, but it's definitely not. I'm just going to Psychic. He's going to be able to knock us out here with an E-Speed. He's going to go down to 6%. This is a very close game, guys. We lose this one 1-0, one -oh, unfortunately, uh, but it's a very good game. Kudos to Eric for uh, for picking that up. And um, guys, again, check out his uh, channel in the description. I urge you. It's an awesome channel. It's got great League content just like this on it if you enjoy this kind of content. Uh, if, you enjoyed, if you enjoyed the battle, uh, definitely hit that like button down below. Yet another close battle. This is an awesome weekend. Um... <laughs> So, uh, if you enjoyed that, the battle, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm losing my words here. My English is out the window at this point. And uh, hit me up on Twitter, on Facebook. It's always in the description as well. And I will catch you guys later. Ciao.